Um, so to basically sum up our argument really quick before I get back to refuting a few of the points that Andrew just brought up, um, less than I believe Prop 63 is simply an ineffective way to implement um, gun laws. We brought up points that um, the access um, to guns, as brought up by our affirmative <coughs> side many times, um, is not as drastic or skewed as the affirmative side may lead you to believe, and um, that even though there are there might be more gun violence in America, um, there's more violence overall. We have a lot more guns in um, circulation and a lot less violence in response than we have in the past, um, even with all these um, gun laws that are in place. Um, similarly, um, to speak to one of Andrew's points that he just brought up. Um, when he said that people are giving these guns back at the uh, buybacks, um, this is not a Prop 63 implement, implemented incentive. It's specific to those two examples. I'm sure this might be happening a lot more, but um, the point is that Prop 63 does not have this in place. And um, it's great that these kinds of things are happening. I'm happy that there are less guns on the street. But um, it's not specific to Prop 63, which was the point of this debate, to prove that um, Prop 63 is either going to be effective or not. Um, similarly, he brought up the point that um, criminals might um, be breaking laws, but they're not, might, uh, they might not be breaking them well. Excuse me. Um, that doesn't quite matter, as long as you can um, organize it well enough, like I said in my quote from um, the Orlando police chief uh, before the pulse shooting attack. If you have enough time um, and resources to organize an attack, um, you can do so. It's not a matter of um, laws being stricter, it's just a matter of outsmarting the laws. Um, two um, counter examples I would like to point out is that um, in September, there was a stabbing in Minnesota. Um, ten people were stabbed. And um, on the same day in New York, there was a bombing that injured um, 29 people. Neither of these are guns. Violence is going to occur no matter what. It's just a matter of how this violence occurs. Um, and finally, I would like to bring back the claims that Les and I stated one more time. Um, like I said, violence is going to occur. It's just a matter of... Um, what means it's going to happen, and Prop 63 doesn't do enough to um, counteract this violence. Um, I, it's, it's going to be in effect in California, we'll see how it plays out, but there's not enough um, proof yet that it's going to decrease um, gun violence like the affirmative side wants you to believe. Second, um, like I said, there are ways to circumvent um, this law, it's just a matter of finding the right way to do it, um, depending on what your goal is, um, whether it's good or bad, and um, that the enforcement is simply not going to be able um, to do so well or do so um, adequately. Um, and all in all, it's just a matter of how seeing how Prop 63 plays out in California, um, wanting to adopt it at a national level though it's um, a great idea. We don't know what Prop 63 is going to do yet, so it's almost too soon to make such a grand gesture without knowing the outcomes. Um, so those are the reasons why Les and I believe that Prop 63 um, is simply just not effective.